we're just leaving um, the sort of two harbors isthmus area. Heading over to Goat Harbor, is that it? Um, yeah, we're gonna head down to Goat Harbor or probably Cabrillo Beach. Uh, plan I saying we are just exiting uh, two harbors here at the Isthmus. We are just kind of bouncing around, having some lunch, um, selling our Genoa slowly while we wait for James and Camille to uh, refill their water tanks, and maybe grab some fuel at the dock. And then, uh, yeah, I think we're just have uh, about a six mile run down to the next spot on the island. And we're enjoying just having the motor off and just slowly kind of sailing around here, letting them come play catch up. And uh, I think we're gonna try to get a dive in this afternoon, which will be awesome. Pretty perfect. Yeah, the weather is gorgeous. Uh, the wind is actually great today. We've actually did some good sailing. Uh, so, yeah, we are stoked. Sandwich time. Absolutely gorgeous sailing. Uh, we are cruising right now. Uh, I've got my main packed away just under Genoa. And dead ahead is James and Camille on Tritea. They are sailing wing on wing. Um, and I don't know if they know it, but I'm racing them and I'm trying to do it with just one sail. But it doesn't seem fair, because they have two, two big ones. Uh, so I might need to whip out the secret weapon here and fly my kite, get the A-sail up. I can't go directly downwind like they are, um, but I think I can jive downwind, have some fun, pick up some boat speed, and we should still all keep our boats philosophy made good. Uh, pretty even, and we'll get to the anchorage at the same time. So cool, that's like a squadron of P-51s, uh, a bunch of warbirds flying out here over Catalina. Um, I think that's a pretty good intro to launching our spinnaker. And we can catch James the Sailor Man. Sailing loves to punish hubris, so of course the worn snap shackle I'd been keeping my eye on finally yes. gave up the ghost in front of the camera and my friends when I was trying to show off. As James and Camille left us for dead in the water, we were luckily able to retrieve the halyard and launch right into spinnaker lesson number two. This is the first time I've ever launched the A-sail without a raised mainsail and will probably be the last. Without the blanketing effects of the main to protect it, the A-sail rocketed out of the snuffer as soon as the wind hit it, giving me a bit of rope burn in the process. The sail was equally rowdy on our very poor douse, and as I frequently fly the sail solo in much stronger winds, I attribute our problems to a bad piece of gear I was aware of and did not replace, and not flying the main. But when you get it right, this A3 is truly a joy to sail and is absolutely beautiful. All right, we are we just got the hook down. Uh, we are at Cabrillo Beach. Uh, there's kind of two cool sailboats here. Uh, James and Camille just anchored. Um, we decided the first spot was a little um, bumpy, 
so we went for this. This is actually our, the first spot that we were going to go to and then skipped it because there's a lot of people camping on the beach, but I think it is much, much more comfortable. So we're going we're gonna to chill out here. The water is so warm. Amazing. The conditions were beautiful, but rolly, and so we set out our trusty flopper stopper. This thing is a game changer, worth its weight in gold. The sun was shining, the water was clear, and as we anchored, we noticed that the boat next to us was Emerald Steel. It wasn't that long ago that we were boatless dreamers watching their YouTube videos, and now here we are, living the dream side by side. spear guns um, they're gonna go try to find some fish and cook up some dinner uh, we have some chicken in case that doesn't work out but yeah we're gonna have another night of hanging out while the loyal hound waits for his masters to return What are y'all doing? What's that? What are y'all doing? Where? Who wants to know? <laughs> Plotting. I'm making dessert. You want to know a fun fact? Fun fact. John and I forgot yesterday was our three year anniversary. <laughs> so... Must be going right then. <laughs> Must be going right. You're not counting the days. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not a prison sentence. <laughs>
All of us like to cook and love to eat, so we prepared another fantastic feast on Florian. This is something we did quite a bit back in the boatyard. But instead of a parking lot, we now got to enjoy the beautiful scenes of Catalina. Join us for the conclusion of our Catalina adventure in episode 3, where we sail down to Avalon, navigate the tight mooring field, walk around the town, and then enjoy a lively sail beating upwind back to Ventura. 